My name is Yael Schrager, and I, am, I grew up in the Bay Area. I currently live in Palo Alto, and I work for Palantir Technologies. My role at Palantir is that of a product navigator, so I lead the product navigation team. The responsibility of my team is to decide what it is that we should be thinking about doing in the next one to two years, so the long-term path for Palantir as a product or as a set of products. I first learned to program in college, uh, the summer after my freshman year. The, my first attempt wasn't totally successful. I decided to pick up a book over the summer. I was working in a biology lab and decided that I wanted to uh, try to, do, to take on or write a simulation of a biological process by writing a program. Um, I picked up the book and you know it didn't actually quite click. I, I think I started understanding what programming was about, but the idea of looking at a blank screen and and typing something out that was in the end supposed to do something uh, was a little bit intimidating. Then in my sophomore year, so this was the following year in college, I started a course and it turned out that that class, the environment, the structured environment where uh, a set, an instructor and a set of teaching assistants uh, had, you know, had put in place a plan for how to walk a novice through programming worked out incredibly well for me and then I ended up using programming in my job later on. Throughout my life, I've wanted to be a number of different things. I started out when I was probably about eight years old. I wanted to be a farmer. And I, I try to go back and think about why that was. I think, there's, I think I've always been drawn to, uh, to things, to activities that at least on the surface appear, uh, have a simplicity to them uh, and a connection to something that is very tangible. When I was 12, I wanted to be a professional dancer. Of course, by the time that uh, I was 16 or 17 and had to start thinking about college, I ended up deciding that dancing was something that I loved and that I would always have in my life, but that I also wanted to go to college and do something else with my career other than dancing. In college, I developed a love for brain science. I, I did computer science throughout, throughout my years in college, but I decided that what I really wanted to do was be a neuroscience professor. And so I started working towards that and ended up going to graduate school and was convinced at the time that what my end goal was to be a professor in neuroscience. The kind of research that I did was in understanding how the human brain supports memory and as a part of that, how the human brain supports spatial memory, so your memory for an environment and knowing how you get from one location to another. I was able to use my programming skills to, to design and to code up a, a virtual environment that, uh, that involved people starting in, in a particular location and following a maze or navigating their way through a maze. I did that by showing up at the lab and picking up a new language at the time that was Python for me. And, and putting together a program and ended up doing a series of experiments that were quite successful. During my years in graduate school, however, I realized that I was not only, I was interested in the brain and I was interested in doing basic science research, but I was also interested in seeing the direct application of my work in the real world. What I was looking for was the freedom to define the problems that I'm working on, uh, work with people who I respect and people who I like, and also do something that I believe was important and had an effect on a lot of people. During the time that I was making the transition from the neuroscience field where I'd set myself up to be a professor in, in one of the major academic institutions, uh, I, I started learning about what's happening in technology and specifically about Palantir as a company. And that's actually how I ended up in technology. It was, it was about the problems that we were solving with technology and about the people that I thought I'd get to work with. When I joined Palantir, I was starting out in my first tech-related job. I was actually starting my first job outside of academia. And a huge obstacle for me at the time was that I had joined a company after doing a PhD in something completely different. What that meant was that I'd become used to being an expert in what I was doing. And I then entered a world, the world of technology, not being an expert at all. I actually remember one of my first few days on the job having heard a lot about servers and our server architecture and wondering what a server was. I remember the very, the first time where I realized it was okay to not know anything was that my boss, who had also done a PhD in something 
other than technology, came up to me and asked me, do you know what a server is? I remember the relief of telling him, no, I don't know what a server is. Can you please explain it to me? The way I overcame obstacles was by understanding that it's okay to keep asking questions, even when you think you should already be an expert in something or when you think that other people view you to be an expert.